Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I am super excited to share some project with you that I created using the gorgeous Prima Love Clippings designed by Frank Garcia. Um, so thank you Frank. He gave me some amazing products and asked me to make a couple of projects as a guest design team post. So thank you Frank. I'm so honored and truly blessed that you asked me to do that for you. So I used, um, he, he sent me so much amazing products. I just like couldn't help myself. So um, for the first project I'm going to show you, I use the 8x8 collection and then the 6x6 and a, I think one or two pages from the 12x12. Um, this is the Love Clippings. It's just beautiful if you haven't seen this paper collection. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like gorgeous. So that's the paper collection for this first project I used. I used one of his new um, gatefold, the smaller <clears throat> version of the gatefold mini album. And I thought it might give the dimensions, but here's the packaging. It's called the Memory Hardware Gatefold <coughs> Excuse me, Journal. Um, there's eight pages in there. It's gatefold, so there's four on each side. And I think it's six by six, but let's see. Yep, six and a half by six and a half. So, um, oh my gosh, I love this collection. Um, they come in craft. All of his uh, books do so you either have to ink the edges or paint the edges or whatever and instead of using the norm like cream or ivory that I would have used I decided to do something a little bit different so for my paint I used what did I use I used some of the ivory but then I put a daub of I don't have with me a daub of it's called flesh color and I just so it would be kind of like a peachy color to match the paper collection so that's what I painted the outside edges of the book and the outside edges of the pages I used one of his really cute little latches right here and I didn't paint it I left it the brass color because I wanted to highlight some of the other cute little yummy things that he sent me <laughs> so uh, these are some flowers from the paper collection I die cut a doily here this is actually a sticker from I think it's from the 8x8 and then these are some cute little say it in crystals that match the collection. Some more um, chipboard elements and these flowers are from the paper collection as well. I have some more little say it in crystals here. These are a couple of pearls that are his that I had in my stash and I had to use them. Um, some more pearls and these are some cute little findings. Um, I added them to these little stick pins and attached them with glossy accents. Another chipboard piece from the paper collection. And on the spines I used the paper here. And this is the back. I inked around all the edges. Um, I kind of wanted to darken it again to go with the peachy color I was trying to go for. I used the Distress Ink in Gathered Twigs. So this opens like this, and I did get it kind of stuffed. I got a little carried away with the flowers because they were just so yummy. You open it up, and on the inside, I went ahead and layered one of the chipboard elements here, this super cute bingo card. I did make this a side pocket so you could stick something in there if you wanted. Um, and then again, I just layered some of the design paper here. Some more chipboard element. I made a cute little photo mat and I used a little, small little embossing folder for right here with some ivory colored cardstock. And this paper was perfect because I used the six by six for this and it just went right on the pages with just a little border. You didn't have to do any cutting. So that was kind of cool. So it opens this way. Again, another large photo mat here. Some more flowers from the paper collection. Another photo mat here. Another cute little chipboard element and some more flowers. And I did kind of go over the tops just to darken them up a little bit. And over here, I made a little pocket with the design paper and I used a Martha Stewart antique lace border punch right there. And I stuck a couple of uh, cards. And these were from, I think, the 12 by 12. Again, I, I used this, mainly the 6x6 six six and a few pieces of the 8x8 eight eight, and then I think one or two sheets of 12x12 12 12 just to do the cutout parts. Again, another cute little cutout from the 12x12. 12 12, some more flowers from the paper collection. I die cut a doily right here. And you flip it over. And again, I have some more chipboard here. I left it open so you could tuck some of the cards here. I love, I mean, this was obviously from the 12x12, 12 12, but these are the 3x4 journal cards. Again, some more flowers from the paper collection. Again, over here, I have a nice little photo mat here. Again, another sticker from the one of the sticker sheets, and I think it's from the 8x8. <laughs> Again, another flower from the paper collection. I just put it on some um, scraps of some design paper and mounted it on foam tape. Over here, again, I have another flower from the paper collection, another photo mat, another chipboard element. So that's this side. 
So over on this side, I um, again, another die cut doily, and I just went ahead and trimmed it off so it only shows half of it. Another chipboard element with the fabulous rose gold um, foil on there. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous. Another chipboard element here and a nice photo mat. Again, the paper is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Some more um, cute little flowers from the paper collection. Another large flower from the paper collection. And this one I just left it blank so it could be like a two-page spread. So you could put one photo here and one photo here. And it is open so you can slide the photos down beneath. Love the imagery on the sides. This is already layered for you with a collage. It's just gorgeous. He does such an amazing job. Over here, again, another doily here, some more flowers. You could tuck your photo in here, or you could just journal right here and enjoy the cute paper, and then put your photo over here and journal about it right there. So then you flip it over here. Again, I made a pocket here with the design paper, some more of the 3x4 cutouts from the 12x12, 12 12, and they are double-sided. Adorable. I love it. Oh, happy day. Again, another photo mat here and some more flowers from the paper collection. You flip it over, and on this one I made a vertical pocket, another chipboard element, and then some more of the 3x4 cutouts. Really cute. And I left the back plain just to look at the super pretty paper because I got it kind of full. So it goes like this, and it goes like this, and then it folds like this, and it closes with this adorable latch. How cute is that? Oh, love it. Thank you, Frank. Oh my gosh. So this is the gatefold. And again, it's six, it says gatefold journal. Um, but it's it measures six and a half by six and a half. So there's that one. And then, oh my gosh, he came out with, and I saw these at CHA, these itty bitty little tiny books, and they're four by four. Well, of course, when I saw the stuff he gave me, I and I saw this in there, I ripped it right open and had to make something. So I took, he also sent me some of his wild and free paper collection. And obviously I made that cute little book. And I'll show you the, sorry for the crinkle. Here's some stuff that I had left. This is the wild and free collection. Oh, again, it's amazing. And you can see I used quite a bit of it <laughs> for this pro project and I used some flowers that was the collection as well. This is some uh, ribbon that I had in my stash and I used it on a different project but it matched this collection so perfect and it's from May Arts and it's the wide silk ribbon. I think it's one inch wide. Again another paper from the paper collection, some more chipboard elements. Again I took some more of his pearls and I had these stick pins in my stash and I just added those to the pins. Another chipboard piece, some more cute little tiny flowers that go with the collection. And another die cut doily. And then there's the spine, and there is the back with the butterflies. Oh, gorgeous. And I did paint this one with the cream color. So you open it up, and I love this little book. It's just so tiny and adorable. <clears throat> so what I did was another chipboard element here. I made a little tiny t uh, pocket, and then again, I had a die cut oval right here, stitched oval. I just stuck that in there as well. And these are from the 6x6 six six paper pad. This is the cutout sheet. So... This one is actually from the ephemera right here with the cute feathers on it. But they're so cute and adorable, so I had to cut those out and stick them in that little pocket. This is just purely decorative. Cute little camera right here, another doily in the background. And you flip it over. Again, a space for a photo here. You can slide the photo underneath. And I used uh, my stitched ovals to make little photo mats for this little book. Another cute little piece of the chipboard, another little flower. These little tiny flowers were adorable, and they were perfect for this little book. Another cute little um, chipboard element. Nope, that's a piece of ephemera, and I went ahead and put it on some foam tape. I inked around all the edges on this with frayed burlap. Again, another die cut doily here. Some more of those cute little adorable tiny flowers that match the collection. Another cute little piece of ephemera, a little postcard. And then another chipboard element and some more cute little flowers. I mean, look at this paper. It's just beautiful with the roses and the flowers. Love it. Again, a collage sheet right here. Again, another piece of ephemera. Another die cut doily. Some more adorable little flowers. I mean, they're just so cute and the perfect size. And the collage paper was so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up because there's so many cute elements in here. Oh my gosh, all the labels and it's just stunning. The imagery is beautiful. Again, another piece of ephemera, 
and I put it on some thumb tape, some more of those cute little tiny flowers. They were adorable. Again, over here I did this like a two-page strad. These were some of the chipboard elements. I put one on this side and one on this side, and they do have the really pretty rose gold uh, foil and some more. And they're open, so you can slide the picture underneath to put it on the oval photo mat. And on the last page, I took the chipboard, large chipboard uh, piece and made a little pocket. Some more little flowers from the paper collection. And I stuck some more of those cute little tiny cutouts. A cute little library card. I mean, just adorable. Oh, adorable. And on the back inside cover, I made a little pocket here. Again, another piece of ephemera, this really cute postcard. And another piece of ephemera here with a cute little globe. So that's my little teeny tiny book using this stinking cute thing. I mean, seriously, you have adorable. And the cool thing about the small one is it's um, open at the spine. So you can, I ran my ribbon all the way through. So, um, I mean, I just tied a couple of bows right there on the side, but love this cute little book. If you get your hands on this, seriously, you got it. It's adorable. So that was the second project I made. And then I was just, I had to make something on my own, you know. Um, so I made this little folio, I don't know, thing. Um, so what I did was, again, I used the Love Clippings paper, and I for this one I used mostly the 12 by 12 papers. This little folio is made out of cardstock. It measures 5 by 8 and a half. Yes. Yep, yeah, 5 by 8 and a half. I used um, some of the artisan tape. He showed us this when I took one of his classes. Put the artisan tape the one inch down, and then I sprinkled the yummy glitter on there. I mean, hello, how cute is that spine? <laughs> And so I, I cut this from the paper just because I love the birdcage. Another chipboard element for the collection. Some more of these fabulous flowers from the paper collection. I die cut a doily. I used one of the Tim Holtz um, memo or yeah, memo pins, I think, right there. And then look at these. Oh my gosh, they're crown charms. How, I mean, they're regal. Are those just beautiful? So those are one of his new items. Love these. Oh my gosh. So I had to put that on somewhere. And then here is the back. Again, this little spine. Again, I used the whole glitter with the tape. So you open it up. And on the inside front cover, I made like a little accordion pocket here. Again, I have some more fabulous... Uh, I'd never seen this before, but this was some uh, Prima trim that he sent me with all the other yumminess that he gave me. And I thought it matched his collection really well with a pretty rhinestone in the middle. It was already gathered, so I just had to trim it to size and glue it down. And I stuffed this full with lots of cut-aparts. And a bunch of the scraps that I had left over. Again, look at, he even gave me some of the papers um, that have the rose gold accent on it. Oh my gosh. Some more um, three by fours. Love the mason jar with the hearts. Adorable. So I just had fun cutting these all apart. Love it, love it, love it. And then I had some scraps left, and so I put some on some um, white cardstock and made some photo mats. Love it. Some more of the journaling cards from the 12 by 12 foil paper, and this was from the paper pad. And I have another one here, just a plain photo mat. And I made a little booklet here. Oops, I have another one. I told you, I just went nuts. So that's an order corny pocket, so you can really stuff it. And then I made a cute little fold out here. You can put photos right there. So then over here, I have a pocket here, and then some more um, flowers from the paper collection. And I, I think this is just one that I don't think this is from the collection, but it might be. I don't know, but it was one that he had given me, and I thought it was adorable. I did use these little eyelets that I had in my stash and some more of that pretty May Arts uh, ribbon right here. So I made a large tag, and they're plain on the back. And there's lots of room in there, so you can add some more stuff in there if you want. And then this flips open. And again, I have another pocket here. I used the last piece of that little trim, and it fit perfectly on here, so I didn't have any waste. Wanted to use it all. Again, another cute little tag that I had a strip of lace left over from one of the classes that I took from him. <clears throat> so I added that here. I layered up some design paper here and our chipboard element. I fussy cut these cute little tickets from the 12 by 12 sheet. And again, this was some leftovers that I had from one of the classes that I took. Again, another paper from the paper collection. Uh, again, I used um, gathered twigs for the ink on this. So that goes in here, and I added some strips of design paper just to give some strength to the spine. And then in here, I have another pocket. And this one, again, I put some more really adorable. I mean, look at that bingo card. Oh my gosh. Cute 3x4 cutouts. 
This one was a piece of the scrap paper, but I loved it because it said note on there. Again, some more 3x4 cards. Love the foil on the butterflies. Just gorgeous. I mean, look. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. If you haven't gotten this collection yet, you have to get it. <laughs> and then over here, um, on the border strip of the 12x12 paper, it had a row of tickets. So I just thought they were too cute. And I had this little paper clip in my stash. So I kept the little tickets apart. And put a couple of them on the front. And then I just scored these and folded them. And I had one left over here. It's really, really, really cute. So those just I attached to the side like this. So there you go. That's my other little project that I made using the beautiful Prima Love Clippings by Frank Garcia. So I made this and I made this. Oh my gosh, the, his books are phenomenal. And then on this, my favorite little new size is the Tiny Mini album. So there you go, everybody. Those are my projects. And again, thank you so much to Frank Garcia and Prima for letting me do this. This was wonderful. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.